I'm Kevin Walder, your host for the Oracle Scroll. And today, we're taking a little break from our usual platform of discussing cards and their meanings, and we're talking about the day. Today is the winter solstice in the year 2020. And it is always a turning point in every year because it's when the darkness comes to an end and the light begins to come back to our earth. The growing season is just ahead, and the season for going within to analyze ourselves, our motives, our tools, and organizing ourselves for the new planting season is quickly running out. We are going to be in that planting season before we know it. So we need to get really serious and busy with the introspection, the intuition, whatever it takes to fire us into action come spring. This is the time of year that the ancients believe that the Oak King reassumes his place of power and banishes the Holly King until the midsummer solstice, which will show it again a, a reversal of roles. What have we learned? This year of 2020 has been has been one of uh, isolation and introspection in a lot of ways that none of us were expecting. So we have had an opportunity to get a jump on the work that normally gets reserved for these dark months of the year when we really have very little to do outside and a great deal to do inside. So what have we learned and what, have, what do we know about ourselves now that we didn't know at the beginning of this year, at the beginning of 2020? What have we learned about ourselves? What have we learned about our families? What have we learned about our communities? Some of it has been extremely, extremely comforting. It's been very nice to know that some of the folks that we have in our lives are there for us and there to be a, a support when we need it. At the same time, we've experienced a great deal of disappointment because some of the folks that we thought we could depend on haven't turned out to be that way. Some of the folks we thought we could look to for advice and clear thinking have unfortunately found ways to obscure that talent if it was ever there in the first place. And it is very sad for us to have to come to that realization. And yet we really ought to be very glad that we were able to come to that realization before we were in a dire need of assistance and help. 2020 will not be missed by many of us, I can assure you of that. We have gone through considerable trial and tribulation, and just that the isolation has been extremely difficult for us, some of us, to, uh, to manage. Others have been very lucky to have uh, what we call a bubble <laughs> within which to isolate the, their family unit. Um, even if it's just uh, your your partner in life, it is company, and that is a that's it's better than better than isolation, uh, uh, totally alone, um, being just completely locked away from everyone. We've also had the opportunity to get acquainted with some of the technology that's been around for a long time. And some of it uh, has been very, very useful to both businesses and in personal relationships. Uh, so these are things that we can continue to work with, continue to draw on as we go forward. But now, and this is something that I'm working on along with a bunch of other people that I know, now we are faced with making decisions about what we're going to be doing. 
What crops are we going to be planting when it comes spring? What animals are we planning to raise in our little farm? What are we actually going to be doing when we emerge from this pandemic and all of its associated trials? What will we be doing? And how are we going to go about getting there? It's a big challenge. It's something we really have to concentrate on and think about as to how we're going to progress. We don't have an option. <laughs> we have to do something to keep moving and keep going. So, here we are at Solstice 2020, and I want to wish everyone a great holiday season. This is a very busy time of year for most everyone we know whether they be uh, on a spiritual path or not. It is a very busy time of year. So be careful, be mindful, be compassionate. Be compassionate with the people who are working and they're, be they're being called essential, but they're not being treated like essential workers. They're, they're really actually staggering under the weight. So they don't need any extra antagonistic action. They just need someone to understand, to smile, to say thank you, to offer some support in even small ways is very important at this time. Let's see what we can com combine our, our power, our mental capacities. What can we design for our future that will feed our soul, and at the same time be beneficial to those around us. Many blessings on this solstice, Yule as some will call it. Many blessings as we emerge into the light once again. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Oracle Scroll. Please visit my website at kevinwalder.com where you can purchase any of the services that I offer. Also, check out my books, uh, Tarot for Lunch, Lessons from the Cards, and 22 Teachers, Healing Lessons from the Major Arcana. Both are available now at Amazon.com. And most importantly, never miss another episode. Click below, click the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you're always up to date.